Hello, my friends. I welcome everyone to the project Ernst Unveils. I would like to introduce Ernst. Ernst is my friend, my acquaintance, my comrade, specialist in extrasensory in the field of paranormal, owner of exclusive knowledge and exclusive skills. Ernst, hello. Hello, friends. Hello, Danila. I'm very glad to see you again. I hope that the first issue will be liked by the audience. I hope that they will not miss the next. And today, we have a very, very, very interesting topic. It will not be as important as the previous one, but no less interesting. Ernst, you need to open the first folder that I sent you. I will also open the first folder for myself so that I have it. So, and it will be several videos, and I suggest starting the video now at the number one. I will say it again for the audience. Basically, Ernst does not see. He did not see the video before. He did not see any videos. We are working right now on the stream. We turn on the video first, and it seems there is nothing paranormal there. It seems like this is an ordinary video. And I would like Ernst for you to evaluate the energy of this place. First of all, evaluate the energy. This will come in handy later in the second and third videos. And you viewers, you also please evaluate what kind of place it is, what you feel in it, and then I will tell you what kind of place it is, and we will look further. Ernst, the video is the first. Let's turn it on. Let's go. Ernst. Well, in general, the video itself is simple. That is, it has no paranormal effects. But this video is very negative energy. I don't understand why it's there, but it's emanating. That is, in this place, I would be scared. I would be scared there. It is not clear why. Some kind of deep fear. Most likely the video is from Russia. Most likely it was shot beyond the Ural Ridge. That is, I don't know where this place is. I have never been there. But something deep, incomprehensible comes out of it. And a very overwhelming fear. Incomprehensible. In this video, if I were in this place, I would even do the work of the first chakra. I would not be able to stand it. That is, there is something in it that I cannot explain. But this is not a very good place. I will tell you right away. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, 
I'll tell you what kind of place it is. This is a pretty famous place in the world. That is, this is not Russia. This is Scotland, Loch Ness Lake. And this is where the monster lives, according to legend. According to legend, it appears from time to time, it appears, it is filmed on camera, on photos. Photos are usually muddy, cameras usually shoot poorly, but in recent years they have become better and better. That is, this year, only in 2019, as far as I remember, 18 photos were registered. 18 pictures of the Loch Ness Monster. And there is a camera on the shore, that is, there are certain researchers of this phenomenon. And they shoot 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. And from time to time they manage to catch something on the water surface. But Ernst, according to your feelings, what kind of place is this? Why is it so strange? Danila, look, I can't say yet because all the facts need to be brought together. But for now, I only feel that this is some kind of energy break, which may give very negative energy. But I still have two videos, if you don't mind, let's watch them first. Then I'll say what I'm saying, because I can't operate on facts yet, if I don't have them on my hands. Yes, good. Video 2 is an underwater shooting, one of the videos in which, as the eyewitnesses say, this very monster is captured. I'm starting, right? Yes, turn it on. Is this a true video or not true, in your opinion? So the video is true, this is not an editing, because I felt the live energy. But the fact is that if I concentrate on this object now, no super negative energy comes from it. That is, this is a living creature. I don't see what kind of creature it is yet. This may be a big fish. Maybe it's really Nessie. But this is not an editing, I'll tell you right away. Because from this video I can feel the field from a person or an object. And this is immediately noticeable. That is, the field of a person vibrates, and the field of this object also vibrates. That is, there is a kind of live vibration from it. This is not an editing, I say right away. But the fact is that if we considered the first video, in which there was nothing, there was negative energy. If I concentrate here only on this red circle, which is on the video, it's some kind of good creature, or fish, or something else. That is, there is nothing evil in it. That is, there is no evil intention in this creature. And if you concentrate on the water, for example, or on the bottom of the sea, in this video, Danila, look, this is not the bottom of the sea, this is filmed from above, because there are trees and fences, that is, it floats right above the surface of the water, or rather, under the surface of the water, it floats about a meter deep. It is not underwater, because there is no light under the water. The water is muddy. If I take the general picture, the picture is negative. If I take only a partial case, 
then everything is fine. That is, a living creature, not an editing. What is it? I still don't know. Therefore, if you allow me, let's go further. Yes, let's, let's, let's. Video 3. And video 3 is just the same selection of photos from the site. The monster has its own website, where all kinds of photos are posted. Photos for the whole history of observations. By the way, on the shore of this lake, as far as I remember, there is also a museum for this monster. Okay, then I'll ask you, can I stop? If this is not a video, stop the photo right away. Right away. And say what I feel about a specific photo, so that I don't get lost. Because I can catch the energy from one, switch to another, and lose track in the first. Yes, yes. Can I? So the first photo is a live photo. This is not an editing. That is, there is some kind of large object underwater. Large. That is, this is not a fish. This is about an object of about 5 to 15 meters in length. The width is about a meter. That is, this is, well, perhaps a big fish, perhaps something else, perhaps what scientists suspect. I turn on the next. The second photo, there is nothing from it. I just feel that this is some kind of nonsense. Here I do not feel anything. The second. Here, I was put in the photo on energy. I go further. The third. This is again some kind of very large object. The energy is alive. That is, it's a living creature. But again, if I compare the public one and the private, private one is alive, and the general is some kind of very bad negative energy. It's not clear what it is. I go further. So the next, the next. So well, here we have this living creature, alive, and again, this is the same thing that was there. We go further. Here I do not feel anything serious. That is, this is some kind of nonsense in the water. This is something not alive. This is some kind of setup. We go further. Very, very, very good photos. You see, there is still such a point that now I have a little bit of such a cognitive dissonance. Because this animal is very old. Is this photo new or is this photo very old? This is where the black head is over the water, right? Absolutely right. As far as I remember, this is one of the old photos, but not very old, but one of the old ones. That is, it's not this year and not last year. But how old is it? A hundred years or less? No less, less, of course. Because this creature is about 500 years old. That is, it's very, very ancient as a creature. And in general, it's not clear how it is here, if it is new. We go further. So here is a photo in the water. This is a living creature. The same thing, because the field is the same. All these objects that I'm talking about have the same field. So I understand that the next one is also the same. But the grass, or rather the branches, is not it. This is nonsense. We go further. Here are people, a wall and a riverbed over the water. Well, it was created by some living creature. But it is so deep that I cannot understand what it is, because I don't see the object myself. Therefore, I will not say anything about this photo. There is nothing to say. Yeah, this is some kind of fish. This is not this creature. This is some kind of fish. It is not related. That is, if this is a fish, then it is not related to what I saw. Maybe it lives in the same waters, but no. 
and I go on further. And here is the head. This is it. It is. Well, look, let's finish now. There is nothing here. So that's it. This was the last one. My opinion. My opinion. Danila and viewers. So, we have such a situation. That this place has some very bad energy. And this animal is kind in itself. That is, the fact is interesting that the energy that I felt from the first video is radically different from the creature that I saw in the last photos. Here we get such an interesting moment. For some reason it seems to me I'll tell you how I feel. Perhaps this is what the so-called portals are, because the creature is very old in itself, but it does not carry any harm. I think that if it ate someone in its life, then in principle, it did it only for survival, not for the purpose of being a killer who kills just for fun. I think that there is some kind of portal at this place, some kind of time gap, and a gap in the space through which this creature can penetrate us from the past, in our time, because the creature is very old. And I don't know, maybe it penetrated a long time ago and lives here, or maybe it is now penetrating. I understand you, Ernst. Tell me, if this is so, then why does this portal have such a negative energy? How could you describe this energy yourself? What is its nature? Look, the portal itself is very strong. What does it mean, negative and positive? Positive gives, negative takes. You should understand this for yourself. For example, I often tell about the entities. You should understand that there are certain entities that feed us and give us energy, gifts of fate, and even some real entity that gives us some thoughts. In this case, this portal takes everything. People can't stay there for a long time. People who stay there for a long time can get certain headaches. There is a certain fear. What is fear? Fear of energy at a certain level from a person, from a living being, from nature, in the same way. That is, you know, such a negative atmosphere is created. It sucks in a funnel of energy. Certain beings can pass through these portals. People who have this knowledge can pass through. But that's how it works. Great, great. Well, I think that's all on this topic. Yes, on this topic. Can I say something else? What do you think? I'll say this. I've never been interested in this animal, and today I saw it for the first time, I swear to you. I've never been interested, I've never watched. In my childhood, maybe, I heard something like that somewhere, but I never asked my teacher about it. And so, for me today, it was interesting that I became some kind of expert in this area. And I gave a couple of answers using my knowledge, and I know that I have just told the truth. I know that I said what I felt. There are no certain photos. That is, certain photos are just some fake photos. Although we have already been told that there is no word fake, there is the word fake. Well, that is, some fake photos. And mostly, of course, 80% are true photos, and the rest are just some fake photos. And I think that it is very interesting to know what is the difference between this animal and this creature. But the interesting fact is that it is very ancient. Why is it here? Why is it here? You know, you need to be close to it to determine. But again, it is very difficult to understand such ancient creatures, because they think at a very deep level, which does not even have certain images. If people are interested, write in the comments. We will definitely expand this topic further. We will talk. But for now, what I said, I think people will be interested. And today, we learned a little about what exists. 
And this is true. It turns out, if we summarize, this is not a fish. That is, yes, this is still some kind of entity. This is not a fish. It is ancient. It lives in this lake. And in fact, this lake is a kind of portal. Absolutely right. This is not a fish. This is some ancient, maybe some kind of dinosaur. Or a modified one, but which has long lived and knows how to come here. Perhaps for food, perhaps by accident. Why? I do not know. I don't see his ideas, I do not see his thoughts, because it is extremely difficult to read the thoughts of such creatures. I understand you, Ernst. Ernst, thank you for this meeting. For this very, very interesting excursion. My friends, I think you were also interested. If you were intrigued, please like this video. We will see that you are interested we will see that you want to continue. If you have any ideas for this project, any topics, videos, photos, please send them to us, or under this video, or on social networks, wherever you want. We will shoot, we will develop this project, we will move on. Ernst, thank you again. I will add that it was extremely interesting for me to be an expert today. Danila just said that you should post links under the video. Danila, I want to say that this is not very good. You can send us a video, I will recommend you personally send it by email, because the comments can be long. The fact is that I somehow moderate the comments, and often people just leave advertisements, spam, and very often, when I see some links there, I just delete them automatically. Because we can have problems with spam, there will be a lot of advertising. Therefore, if you are interested, if you want to learn some interesting phenomenon to unveil, to listen to my opinion, please send it to us by email with the headline, Ernst Unveils. Just write and you do not even need any message. Just throw a link directly in the email. You will see the email in the description. And if you like it, then we can immediately discuss and look it, because these comments can be moderated for a long time. We can already discuss some other topics on this project. Therefore, it is better to send it by email. Thank you, Ernst, and thank you, viewers. See you soon. See you soon, friends.